of a hypercube. Here is the coordinate axis. So this is four-dimensional space. And as you look over here, what you see is, you see that these are the axes right over here, all four of them, and each of them is perpendicular to the other. And that isn't possible in three-dimensional space, but in four-dimensional space, it's obviously going to be true. Now, what we're looking at over here is what's called a projection of a hypercube. What that means is the edges of the cube are projected in on a black flat screen. And so we're seeing where all the edges would be as this hypercube is rotating through four dimensional space. No two dimensional object, no three dimensional object could have this type of a projection. Only a four dimensional object could have this type of projection. Projections are always, well, are typically two dimensional when looked at uh, in this manner. So basically, um, this is how we visualize four-dimensional objects, or one way to do it. You can do it mathematically, or you can look at them as projections. And when you combine the mathematical knowledge with this graphic representation, you can get a better idea of what's going on. Okay, that's it for now.